With all the places to watch videos, YouTube remains a go-to site for most people. To help you get the most out of the service, today I'll show you 12 cool tips and tricks that you should be using with YouTube. Many of these tips will give you more functionality and make your overall viewing experience better. I'll also be including some of the newer tricks with YouTube that I recently learned about. I'll start out with the PC tips first, with a few YouTube mobile app tips being featured later in this video. Coming up next on Tech Gumbo. There are many ways now to link to any part of a video. Usually when you link a video, it starts at the beginning. If you want to start the video at a specific time, there are three quick ways that I will show you. First, go to the end of the URL and add the and sign, the letter T, then the equal sign. And let's say I want the video to start at the one minute, 45 second mark. Then I would type one, M for minute, 45, and then S for second, and then hit enter. Then you can just copy the URL. An easier way of doing this is to go down to share below the video. So select share, click in the empty box before start at, and then just change the time. Let's type in 1.45 and then hit enter. Then you can just copy this URL right here or use any of the options listed above like Twitter, Google+, Facebook, etc. The third way of doing this is to move the timeline to the part of the video you want the link to start. So let me go down to the timeline here and I'll just move to a different part of the video. So we'll say the three minute and 33 second mark. Right click inside the video, then select copy video URL at current time. With these three methods, you can copy and paste these wherever you want. As many of you already know, the YouTube suggestions are sometimes not very useful. I find their homepage to be full of stuff I don't care about. What I've done is changed my YouTube bookmark from the main site to my subscriber upload page. Here's how I did it. At the end of the URL for youtube.com, add a forward slash, the word feed, another slash, then the word subscriptions. Now when I go to YouTube, I see the newest videos from the channels I subscribe to so I don't miss anything. With this new URL, you would just need to bookmark it to make it your new YouTube homepage. One aggravation for users over the years has been being able to loop a video so it keeps repeating. It used to be that you had to go to third-party websites to do this. You don't have to anymore. Just right-click inside the video and select loop. Now when the video finishes, it'll restart from the beginning. In that same area where we found the option to loop a video is Stats for Nerds. Right click inside the video and at the bottom, select Stats for Nerds. You'll get a new mini window showing up with all sorts of stats, including video ID, current resolution, connection speed, and other stats for you to check out. This next one is similar to the first one I showed you earlier. If you want to skip a certain amount of the beginning of a video and send a link to someone, that is easy too. You can't specify minutes, you can only use seconds. Here's how you do that. At the end of the URL, type the and sign, the word start, and then the equal sign. For this one, I'll go with 30 seconds. So just type 30. And now this video will start at the 30 second mark. If you happen to find a video on YouTube that you think is worthy of being turned into a GIF, or some people call it a GIF, just go to the beginning of the URL before youtube.com and type the word GIF, and then hit enter. This will instantly take you to another website where you can easily create an animated GIF. Here you can add effects and do all sorts of other stuff. If you ever wanted to read a full transcript of a video without having to follow closed captioning, below the video, select More, and then Transcript from the drop-down menu. Now you'll see every word spoken in that video. It's not always 100% accurate, and you may find that some channels don't enable transcripts for their videos. If you've ever used YouTube on a smart TV, gaming console, or streaming device like a Roku, then you already know that it has a different look than on a PC. 
To give YouTube that same look on a PC, go to the end of the URL after youtube.com and put a forward slash, then TV. Now you have the same design and user layout that you would get when using a smart device. A few months ago, I released a video that shows how to enable the new look and dark mode on YouTube, which is different than what I just showed you. I'll put a link in the description if you want to check that one out. Many of you have asked me, where do I get the music for the videos on this channel? The answer is simple. I get the music from the YouTube audio library. The full link to get to this page will also be in the description. All the music here is completely free to use for personal or commercial use. You only need to provide attribution for individual music or sound effects when you see this symbol. Then you would need to click into the track and copy and paste this text into your description. For all other music or sound effects that don't require attribution, giving credit is not required. Now for the first of three tips for those of you that use the YouTube mobile app. If you want to move forward in a video, instead of dragging the timeline, which you could do, you could just double tap the right side of the video to go forward in 10 second increments. To go back, double tap the left side of the video to go backwards, which is also in 10 second increments. If you want to speed up or slow down a video clip, tap the settings menu in the upper right corner. Then select playback speed. 0.25 is the slowest, with two times being the fastest. If you want to find related videos on the YouTube app, make sure you're playing the video in full screen mode and swipe up from the bottom of the screen. Here you'll see a full list of recommended videos that are similar to the one you just watched. That concludes this week's tips and tricks. Thanks for watching. Give this video a thumbs up if it was useful for you. Let me know in the comments if you know of a useful tip or trick that can be used with YouTube not mentioned in this video. And if you haven't done so already, click on the subscribe button and bell notification icon for more tips, tricks, and other tech-related stuff from Tech Gumbo.